Hey guys, welcome back to Smart Trader. Hope you guys are doing great. And if you're a new viewer to this particular channel, then hit that subscribe button for more learning. And you can also download our Smart Trader app by clicking the link in the video description or directly you can check out Smart Trader app and then download it for more learning on equity and options. So without wasting time, let's check out the chart IQ version 8. So the interface, what you are seeing here is nothing but Zerodha account, which I'm using. So if you don't have a Zerodha account, you can open your account with our link. The link is in video description. Click and open your trading account in Zerodha. You can also be added to our secret telegram channel if you open through us. So how do we use our chart IQ uh, version 8? So for that, we have to click on this ID and then go to settings, my profile. In the bottom, you can see here we are using chart IQ 7 version, right? And we have the trading view generally. So for the people who are using chart IQ, we have the chart IQ version 8, which is beta. Okay, this is nothing but testing. So it is always recommend to understand that this is not completely released. It is a testing phase. So it's a beta. So you can also check it out. So let's click on chart IQ 8 and now load any of the chart. So This is how the chart IQ version 8 looks like. So what's new in this? So first of all, let's go with the time frame. So in the time frame, let's say we have this default one minute, two minute, one hour, one day, one month in the general charts. So in this IQ uh, version eight, we have this custom option. Okay, where for example, I want to trade for seven minutes. So if I give seven minutes, the candlestick has changed to seven minutes time frame. If I want to trade, for example, 15, I want to trade in 18 minutes. So I'll put this 18 minutes. And this will change to 18 minutes candles okay so i'll go for a 18 minutes candle breakouts higher lower an example i'm just giving an example okay so based on your strategy you can create for example you want to go with one and a half hour breakout so that is 60 minutes is one hour and another half is 30 minutes so you want 90 minutes so i want one and a half hour breakout so i'll go with 90 minutes like this and then okay this is my 90 minutes breakout so whichever breakout takes place i will take advantage so this is one good feature which have, which is there in chart IQ option 8. Apart from that, we have a download option which has been created. Okay. So if you see here this particular option that is table view. Okay. In this table view, if you click here, you can see that these are the options created based on the time frame. One hour, five, uh, one and a half hour. Okay. So you see here based on one and a half hour on, for example, 19, 9, 15, 10, 45, 12, 15 what was the open and high low close and also the indicators which we choose so based on the indicators which we have choose what is the value at that particular point now if i change this for let's say one minute and if you see here if i click on this table you see this on every minute what is the price change and what is the rsi um, value at that particular point macd and all that whatever indicator we add it will automatically give the information so this will help you in analysis this will help you in your research and back testing so this is one good feature where you can directly download this into your excel format and then use these particular data so back testing is become more easy over here directly in chart iq version 8 apart from that we we have this drawing tool which we can use let's say you want to check out certain new drawing tools which has come in so for example here you see you have a new uh, drawing tool which has been added uh, in this particular drawing tool and also we have few um, adjustments which can be done to our favorites for example you use only certain lines or horizontal lines you can just click on that add or remove the favorites okay and you can keep adding on whichever um, shortcuts you want to this particular favorite list and arrange basically and you can add and remove so this is one of the new features given in this draw so now let's go for the info you know if you give if you give info you used to get what is the open high low of a candle right let's say for this day candle what is the open high low now we have something called this show tool tip so if you click on the show tool tip it will not just tell the open high low it will also tell about the rsi macd all this information at that particular point for example let's go with the two minutes candle at this two minutes candle what was the rsi the rsi was 40 let me go with the 30 minutes candle what was the rsi over here the rsi was 55 macd 5.89 so like this along with your open high low candle whatever the indicator we are adding over here okay that information also has been given at a point everything is given at this particular point when you are keeping the cursor on that okay so you can choose that option if you want and if you want if you don't want all this info you can click on this info and you will not get any information apart from that they have directly given the streak option here so you can go to the streak back test with streak and all that uh, screeners and all that can be used in streak so they are given direct option here 
One more cool feature is we used to go for a full screen by clicking here. It used to go to one more tab. So now directly they have given the full screen over here. So now let's say this is a full screen. I'm doing my analysis over here. Now I just want to go back to the same screen. I'll just click here. We are in the same page. So it is not opening a new tab, coming back, switching back and all the information and indicators added will not be different. So I can do all the analysis here and zoom it and check it out and again get back to the normal view. Apart from that, few indicators also have been added. For example, if you see here moving average cross, moving average cross and let's say one more example, multiple moving average that is multiple moving average. So like this, you have a lot of indicators which has been added newly. And last but not the least, you have a shortcut option given here below. If you click here, these are the shortcut options. If you want to draw certain things, you can use this particular shortcut directly rather than going to draw and selecting or finding your tool. You can click on this particular option and directly get from your keyboard and hotkeys you have. So you can click directly and start using it. So once you start using this, uh, you will get used to the shortcuts and you will become more faster in using these shortcuts. So these were some of the new features which has been added in the chart IQ version 8 compared to the version 7. So hope you like this and you got an idea about this IQ 8 and do check out about it. If you like this video then hit that like button and also subscribe. See you soon with one more learning video till then take care stay safe.